Hey guys, it is Mike from UyghurTech.com and today I am doing a video tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed, click that button down below so that you can have access to the amazing videos by Wild Academy that cover a wide range of topics. Today though, I am doing video number seven in a 10 part video series on GIMP. And today what I'm gonna be showing you guys is, you guys might think it's a little basic, but it's how to draw straight lines in GIMP. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we open GIMP, we're just gonna do a blank canvas to give us some place to, to work on. So we're gonna go to File, New, and just open that up. So now we have a little blank canvas right here. Now if you guys remember from my past tutorials, I told you there's a large difference between GIMP and something like Paint. In a program like Paint or things like that, you can draw shapes all around, you, know, you can draw, you can add in a line or a triangle and stuff like that. But if you've watched the past tutorials, you've learned that GIMP's a little bit different. GIMP's more of a photo editor, so it's not gonna have the ability to just do that like Paint did. But you can still accomplish that if you know how. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to draw those straight lines. So it's as simple as this. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on one of the tools that can draw. So really, the pencil or the paintbrush. We're gonna go with the paintbrush. And down here you can select what you want to, what you want you know, your pattern to be. So I'm just gonna do this little block right here for a nice little straight block line. So the power to draw a straight line is all in the shift key. So we are gonna click on our first spot right here. And then we're gonna go down to wherever we want the final spot to be hold down shift and you can see the line appears. So when you hold down shift, you're gonna see exactly where your line is and we're gonna click it. Now, of course you could do that with a path or of course you could click and drag your mouse with the paintbrush, but why do that when a computer can make it perfectly, perfectly straight? There are a lot of applications for wanting a straight line. Whether you're making a video and you wanna create a lower third with a nice crisp line in a box or anything like that, there's a lot of reasons you would want to draw a straight line. Now, the other thing I wanna add on to this tutorial is how to select a line you just drew and maybe fill it with a pattern. So what we can do is we can go up here to select and we can do by color. Now there's a lot of uses for the select by color. What it's gonna do is, now that I have it selected, whatever color I click on in this image, it's gonna select that color in the entire image. So I'm gonna click on this black area, and now you can see I have the little lines around the entire black area. So it said, hey, this is the color he wants, I'm gonna select everything in the image that is that color. So then with that selected, what we can do is we can go and we can fill it with a pattern. So if we go to our bucket fill tool, and you can fill it with a color, or what I like to do is you can do a pattern. So you can click down here and we can pick a pattern. Let's just do, uh, we'll do this blue. So we'll click there. Now if we paint, or if we click right in the center where it is selected, you will see, we'll go up to select none so you guys can see it, it turned that entire selection into the blue pattern. So drawing those lines has a lot of applications and also it allows you to use the select by color feature and you can fill those lines with whatever you want, whether it be a color, a pattern, a gradient, anything like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. I hope you guys find a use for the straight line feature in GIMP. Remember just to hold down that shift key on a lot of those features and it's gonna allow you to do the straight lines. So again, my name is Mike Weger from WegerTech.com. You can click my link down in the description. It'll take you over to my channel. Over on my channel, you can find things like other tech tutorials, and you can even find a weekly live tech show called Open Mic Night that I do, and that just gives you the weekly tech news and what happened, and it just kind of keeps you up to date. So go over and check that out. But again, remember to subscribe to Wild Academy so you can see all their videos that cover a lot of topics, and I'm sure you guys will learn a lot just by watching Wild Academy's videos. But until I see you guys again, tech on.